What we've been studying, it's massive. Do you realize, at the culmination of the end times, there's going to be a revival that like the world has never seen. Because the Bible tells me that it is not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And it's not God, it, it is God's desire for all men to be saved and come into the knowledge of the truth. Amen. You want the will of God? There it is. You want people who oh, want the will of God? That is the ultimate will of God. And the, the command of the church is to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Oh, we enjoy the toys and the trinkets and the good things God gives to us. But guess what? This ain't the final stop, saints. Our home is not here. It's in New Jerusalem. So I heard somebody say a never more true statement. When the soon return of the Lord Jesus Christ is preached, the start, church starts living for eternal things. We want your focus in the right place. All God gives us is beautiful. It's wonderful. But it ain't going to be here forever. Mostly, it's for tools to get done what God wants to get done. Somebody said, like what Pastor Clint used to say. He said, be a good pipe. Because when you're a good pipe, you can't push all that water out getting wet without getting wet yourself. <laughs> okay? You just keep doing the will of God. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like somebody getting ready to uh, help you uh, finance uh, a, a gospel a gospel. Uh, crusade someplace. Or somebody getting ready to finance, help you finance building a church, a hospital in Jamaica, or whatever the case is. And then you're working for a while, you're doing this, and they come say, you know, you've, been, you've been doing a pretty good job. I think you deserve a raise. <laughs> and he got innumerable assets. He could build 18 hospitals in every city, okay? And never miss it, okay? So after you get finished your eighth or ninth one, he said, I think you deserve a 400% raise. Amen. It ain't. Wow. Wow. The reason you don't get that at your job now, because they can't afford it. He can. Amen. That's true. Amen. So this is keeping our focus he right can. now. Can. The focus is on getting a job done. It's to pleasing God. Mm -hmm. But understand, he don't let you work for free. No how kind of kind of way. Okay? He's your daddy. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you another one. He, you and him own everything together, because he said we are. So let me give me stuff a raise. <laughs> How easy is that? Okay? So, so I, I said all that to say this. Our focus is always on eternal things and obeying what the Lord Jesus Christ said. So we want to center in on that thing today. Because we started one place uh, some time ago on His glory from the root to the fruit. Okay? His glory... From the root to the fruit. So go over to the Gospel of John, chapter 14. John chapter 14. We're going to kick it off there. Because you see a lot of troubling things going on in the, in the world. You see a lot of troubling things going on in, in politics, in the nation. You see a lot of troubling things begin to happen, okay? But I want to share with you in John chapter 14, because this is our command now. My job is to make sure you know what God says and make sure you're doing the will of God. The Bible said the so and so is the word. A lot of pastors, I heard a pastor say one time, and he's a good uh, guy. He means well, I know him. He says, I'm like a sheepdog. He says, I see the come going on in the congregation. He says, I go out and I take care of it and I come back and I, I sit right next to the master. Some last time I go out and everything like that. I said, that's fine, that's good. You know, that's good, that's great. But I said, the Bible said, the sower sows the word. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's his job. Yes. Some, and it falls on good ground. It falls on ground that chokes it. It falls on ground that, 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 that it was affliction and persecution and it chokes the word. Mm -hmm. But you know this, so, the sower's only got one job. He ain't got nothing, nothing, ain't response. If I stop sowing, I'm guilty. 
But I'm going to tell you in the King James, it happened if not. Because <laughs> I'm going to show you, I ain't what this yet to say. Okay? But I know there's a lot of good ground in here. Because I noticed one thing about God. He always gives me things that will, will bear fruit and will fertilize. Like at a holding home, these ladies have an 82 to 87% success rate among their graduates. And that's what, see, that's the desire of my heart to see some cotton picking results. That's right. <laughs> So I know y'all rich ground. Don't even be looking at me in that tone of voice. I know y'all good ground. Okay? I mean, look at my mom, my favorite mom with she, she know how to raise youngest. See now, see, God sent me good ground. I don't want to waste no time. I want to hear well done. You're good and faithful servant. Into the hour to the joy of the Lord. I said, well, come on, Karen. Come on, John, John. Come on, Leroy. Come on, Nadine. Let's go. Come on, Louie. Come on, Ali. You know, we know. Amen. We know you're good. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, so how we know that? Blessing. We found out straight up in the Holy Ghost. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we found out. Okay? That's it. We know you're good. Brother. We knows it. You know, look at John. Children, know, right? children know. Look up at John chapter 14. Okay? In John chapter 14. And this is what I need you to hear first and foremost right here today about where we are. Where we are in politics, where we're in the nation, where we're in the end times, everything. The first thing you said in John 14 was, let not your heart be troubled. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Did that sound like a, a suggestion, Karen? Yes, sir. <laughs> did, did he say, if it, if it ain't too much trouble? Stand up in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Let not your heart. You started. You started. Can okay, you happy now? You started. Okay. He said, "Let not your heart be troubled." Amen. Amen. That's it. Wait, huh? They're not listening. <laughs> Let not your heart be troubled. Well, what if the Democrats get it? Let not your heart. What if the Republicans? Let not your heart. What if there's a civil war? Let not your heart be troubled. My God. My God. My God. My Thank God, you very much. My God, God, my God, my God. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. You're right there. Let not your heart be troubled. Okay? Uh, and then another place he said, Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Yeah. 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 Sounds like you got some control in this stuff. Right? That's it. That's it. Sound like he already put something on the inside of you. My God. Yes. Yes. That you can flip the switch on and off. Yes. yes. Why would he tell me to do something I couldn't do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Come on now. You stop messing with your brains. Mm -hmm. He's, he didn't say don't let your brain be troubled. Mm -hmm. let, don't let it get down in your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because over the book of Philippians, he tells you what to think. Yes. Yeah. What's everything's just? Oh, What's right. everything's okay, honest? Okay, What's okay. everything's okay. lovely? Yeah. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. and then you don't you don't have a chance to get in your heart. That's right. That's right. It starts with the thoughts. Yeah. Don't feed too much of the mess. My God. My it's God. good to be a made aware. It's good to keep up. It's yeah. good to know what's happening. Yeah. But don't meditate on them. That's right. Meditate on the word and let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Neither yes. let it be afraid. My God. In the book of Luke, it says when these things begin to occur, you know what he says in the book of Luke about that? He said, see that you be not troubled. Mm. Pay attention that you be not to Get your eyes up here. Yeah. He will keep him in perfect peace. Yes. Whose mind is stayed yes. on thee. Yes. Is that the order of the church now in 2024 or not? <laughs> you got every opportunity in the world to go nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. I'll offer opportunity every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can go double nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and put some cream on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, light a fire on it. You have flaming cream and that shit come out. You know, yeah. As long as you keep listening, they keep feeding it to you. You know why? That's their living. They make a living running you nuts. Okay? No, no, no. We don't make it's what he told Joshua. He says, he said, meditate in the word. Day and night. What's the result? That you be a good success. That you be prosperous. And have good success. 
If you're listening to the nut sowers and the sellers, you ain't going to be prosperous and you ain't going to have no success. Lord, don't know There's only two choices. Amen. My Lord. There's only two choices. Amen. Pastor, the Lord and I choose to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Amen. And get our day started that way. And I choose to kick that tape and listen, coming out of trouble all day long. I'm up to almost 9,000 times listening to that now. Then it goes all during the day. Whenever I got time, I'm folding stuff, I'm at work or something. I got about an hour, I got about half an hour, I got about 20 minutes, I got about an hour. Man, that thing be, that word be going in me all the time. I see trouble begin to form and begin to dissipate. Because I've become to understand that my trouble is in the spirit. If somebody's walking with a bale of rattlesnakes and he get ready to come to the house, and I got a lever, I pull, and all of a sudden the ground open up, and he goes down the ground. I ain't got to worry about the snake coming to me. <laughs> it's him and the snakes in the ground They're now. On. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. I wish the snakes a good appetite. Oh, you know what I mean? That's it. So that's what happens in the spirit when you start feeding on faith. When you come back, Pastor, come back, come back. <laughs> when you start feeding on faith, oh my God. you open the ground. And then we have to go. And then we close back. You just walk right over and you go. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Is it that easy, Pastor? Is it really that easy? Oh, my God. It's that, it's that easy because you haven't read the Bible. Okay? You haven't read the Bible. Because the Bible said, Jesus said, my burden, my burden my is, yoke is, yoke is easy, easy and my burden, burden is, is light. If it's hard and it's tough and we got to hang on and while I'm down here on it, Lord says, yes, God. Mm -hmm. You know, you know why I got that way? Because you didn't follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you are so sold out on him, and that's your only thoughts during the day, your every opportunity, I can see stuff happening, and I begin to meditate, feed the word, feed the word. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I see it begin to go away. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's in all these traps in the ground get open, all my trouble get, trouble get sucked yeah. in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? And I don't even have to deal with it. When it gets so strong in my mind, so strong in my heart, I know I ain't spend no time in the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I come home, you give me three hours, I wake, I go to work with no problems. Mm -hmm. Did you know what the word said? It said, all things are made by and for him. Without him was not anything that was made. Okay? He's upholding all things by the word of his power. His power is holding together all matter in the universe. Mm -hmm. Do you get this now? Mm -hmm. These chairs and this floor and this building could not stand together if it wasn't for the word of his power holding it together. Mm -hmm. That's why he can say all things work together for the good of those that love him. Mm -hmm. He ain't got to put in a whole lot of effort. He ain't got to put in a stress and strain and figure out how I'm going to do this now. Oh, Lord, look what y'all did now. Look, the Bible says, you know what it said? He says, Jesus sat down on the right hand of the Father, mm -hmm. henceforth expecting his enemies to be made his footstool. Mm -hmm. He ain't doing N U T I E nothing. Mm -hmm. His word has already gone out. Mm -hmm. He watches over to perform it. Amen. So then what you got to do? You got to get in line with what his word said. You know, there's a story about um, a deer. You, 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 heard, you heard about the, the, the verse of scripture. As a deer pants after the water, yes. so my soul panted after thee. Why is that happening? Because the deer is being chased by the adversary. Mm -hmm. And he wants, he wants, he gets to that water. Yeah. It's not because he's thirsty. Right. He loses his scent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they can't find him. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. That's you when you got a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. You got to run to the water. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And things are where to go. Hallelujah. Where to go? Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. My God. You got to get to the place where you feel the word, of, where you know the word of God builds the faith in you. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. I don't care what the devil's bringing. 
You put the faith in it, it starts to dissipate and dismantle everything that come against you. Because guess what? It was designed to bless you, but the enemy has perverted it to harm you. But when you get into the word, it begins to reassemble it to the point where it's originally supposed to be. They got all kinds of weapons in, 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 in prisons. Amen. They can make up a weapon out of a chair. They can't let that metal in there. They can't let certain things get in there. Why? Because they're going to pervert it. Mm. The things that were supposed to bless folks. Wow. How many things has God put in place in this earth that's supposed to bless people that have been perverted? Mm. Mm. True. But guess what? Here's a key for you. Every one of those things can be rearranged yeah. and be reorganized to come back to where they either do nothing for you or bless you. Amen. 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 Is that deep or what? Amen. Amen. Come on now. Now, so, you know, we, we, I mean, I love fasting and praying, but this can save you a lot of missed meals. You see, Joe, happy about that one. You know? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Me too, Joe. Okay? <laughs> love my project. Okay? But that's, that's what it's all about. When you get to the point where that is your source of answer for everything. And I come to the point of where I realize I got so many answers and so many manifestations. Yes. I go to that first. Mm -hmm. I feed on it first. Mm -hmm. I deal with it first. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 not only that, but I want to do what the counsel from that word tells me to do. I'm going to tell you something now. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to, I'm going to get you guys into a place where it's going to start happening for you. When you have so many manifestations of deliverance and so many issues that have been dealt with and defeated by your feeding on the Word, when you go to the Word one day, it's going to start saying, oh, do this, do that, oh. And you're, it's not even about what you're reading. You're getting so many answers from the Spirit. Oh, my God. And then they, they, I notice they fade away. And I start reading the Word get revelation from the Word. When you, that's what is happening. When you get fellowship with, and communion with the Holy Spirit to such a degree that you know his voice. He said, my sheep know my voice. And another one won't hear. I know it's God giving me the answer. I know it's God giving me the answer. That's what I'm saying. Okay? So when you get to the point where you know this, now you're going to, and you begin to obey him. I told you to turn to the 14th chapter of the Gospel of John. Let's go to verse 21. He says, he that has my commandments and keeps them, he it is that loves me. Oh, there's that definition of who loves Jesus or not. The one that does what he says. He that loves me shall be loved of my Father, and I will manifest myself to him. Amen. Ooh, now you're doing what he said. You know what he said. And you're feeding on the word. You do what he said. He said, whatever the issue is in your life, I'm going to show up right there. When I show up right there, guess what? The trouble just got over. Amen. You know, I mean, look, look, look at the uh, look at the apostles when they walked up to the gate and it opened of its own accord. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened? Yeah. If this didn't happen the first time, yeah. the first time that, that, you, that you see in the accounts of these guys, what are they saying? Jesus, don't you care that we're going to die? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. And Peter's talking about, yeah, well, I'll never deny you, Lord. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm from the first church. <laughs> you know, I ain't going to never do that wrong, Lord. Mm -hmm. you, you're my main man. You're my homie. You're a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And then what happened? He's one of them. I don't know the black and the black, 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 black. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, 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 then Sir had to put his ears up. Man, I ain't never heard about a curse that bad. <laughs> <laughs> what bar you went to? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how, the how first church was nothing in his mind. Oh, my God. You know, he didn't know the Lord's prayer or the Lord's day. He didn't know none of it. About everything. Okay. <laughs> Because that's what, what happened is they began to be developed. Wow, they had to hear good. the word. That's good. They had to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. They had to be fully persuaded and let it get down in their heart until so they live for it. Wow. And when they live for it, they got far enough down in their heart. And that's when you see Peter walk by and a shadow Shoot. people heal. My God. Yeah. That's two different people, saints. My God, my God. 
Mm. But he had to grow to that point. Yes, you have did. to grow to the point where you, that word of God is so important to you, mm. more than your next mm. breath. Mm. And you have to get to the point where you're going to obey God before you obey anybody else oh, in the world God. at any time oh, for God. any reason. Oh, amen. Oh, amen. I'm sorry you feel that way. But guess what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm going to do what God said. Yes, yes. 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 Come on. When you get to that point, well, I obey God and then nothing happened. I obey, you know, I said the Lord's prayer twice. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Let's go over to the 15th chapter, John. My God. And, but why you, let's, let's, let's stop at 14. 14, 14, 26, 14, 26. He said, but when the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, whom the Father was sent in my name, he will teach you what? All things. And what else he do? Bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I said to you. Don't worry about old timers' disease. Don't worry about you losing your memory. You ain't got to worry about it. He's a reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, what was that situation? Mm -hmm. Lord, what was this? Oh, and all of a sudden you may not even think about it. He'll bring it back to your remembrance. My God. You see, your memory and your mind is extremely limited. You, I don't know how many people realize that. But your memory is limited. But in the Spirit, come on. Come in on. The, that's why I recommend praying in the Holy Ghost so much. Yeah. Because he said he meted out the water in the hollow of his yeah. hands. Mm -hmm. He weighed the mountains and scales and the hills in a piece of dust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's who you got reminding you. Yeah. Yes. I'd rather not use my memory if you don't mind. <laughs> okay? So then he used that to have him remind you of what he said. Mm -hmm. yes. Because when you start doing what he said, what happens when you start doing what he said? He shows up. His power, right. his glory, his divine insight, his wisdom, whatever it is that, it, it, that encompasses Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord of glory, who has all power in heaven and earth. He's the one that shows up when you do what he said. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know when he said, bless those that curse you, do good that, that, that hate you. When he said, bless those that curse you, if anybody hits you on one side, turn the other cheek. When you do it, it ain't to get you beat up. It is so he said, okay, now you did your part. Now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel sorry for them. Mm -hmm. They better repent in a hurry. <laughs> repent and re-repent. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Come on. Oh, you see, all you got, and all you did is do what he said. Amen. Oh, my God. Okay, now see, when you said, well, I was reading the Lord prayer twice, and ain't nothing happened. I prayed in the Holy Ghost for three, three minutes and 25 seconds, and I haven't seen no change. You know, I have a watch on him. I know about him. Okay? He didn't show. He late. You know? You know what? You missed the process, saints. You missed the process. Look at John chapter 15. Look at verse 1. He says, I am the true vine. He didn't say I'm the vine. I'm the true vine. And my father is the husband. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. Yeah. That's the one that did it for three minutes and 25 seconds. <laughs> Every branch in me that bears fruit, he purges that it may bring forth more fruit. So look out when you get some results. You're going to get purged you can bring forth more fruit. Oh, my goodness. My God. His intent is not to hurt you. That's His right. intent is so you can have more of Come him. Come on now. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Come on now. When he prayed, you know what I say? Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, I know what's going to come yes. next. Yes. Woo, I know what's coming next. More fruit. More fruit. More fruit. My God. Look at three. Now you are clean through the word which I've spoken unto you. Watch what he said. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. Now, the manifestation of what he's telling you and the greater works that he says that are going to come when you obey his word is predicated on you abiding in the vine. That that life flow becomes to come through you. That you're doing what he said and all of a sudden, whoa. You know, I didn't see anything the first five or six or eight times I did it. But oh my God, look at what happened. Oh yeah. Unless you abide in me. Okay? I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me and I am the same bringing forth much fruit. 
The more you do, the more you obey, the more you see of him, and the more much fruit you see. For without me, you can do nothing. If a man by not in me is cast forth of the branch and is with it, and men gather them and cast them in the fire, and they are burned. Okay, that's the guy who did it two or three times, and then he's seen no results. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right? Look at verse uh, 7. If you abide in me, watch this. If you abide in me, and my words abide or live or alive in you, you ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. I'm going to give you something now that you didn't plan on getting when you came here today. You know what that is? He says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Do you realize it takes time for fruit to grow? When you get consistent obeying him and doing what he said, keeping his commandments, staying in the word, all of a sudden you see fruit begin to manifest. You know some of the fruit you're going to see is prayers you prayed 20 years ago. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You thought God didn't hear you. You thought you didn't have enough faith. You thought, I'm seeing stuff come to pass now that I have asked God for 20 years ago, 28 years ago. I'm just seeing it now. Some of it wasn't even a prayer. It was just a desire of my heart. But stay in the word. Stay in the word. Go obey God. Let that life flow. You, you, you think you're just doing something when you're staying in the word? Saints, you're feeding that power that's going to bring forth that fruit. Amen. 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 My God. My God. Just keep obeying. That's it. Just keep doing. That's why he put it in the vernacular of vines and fruits because everybody in the world knows that it takes time to grow. It does. He says, you ask what you will. His, don't, don't lose sight of this. Don't lose sight of this. He says, he says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it what shall be. It is a, let me do it right now. Wow. Hello. Shall be done. Shall be done unto you. And by faith. That's it. Maybe, maybe it's today, Lord. <laughs> 20 years from now. Maybe it's next week. That's yes. it. That's 30 it. years from now. Could be next month. My mm. Lord. He said, shout. 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 Must. I'm giving you the illustration before. I was in Ellenville. You heard the story. I'm in the restaurant. And I said, well, Lord, I planted a lot of good seed. Mm. So how come ain't nothing growing up? He put me, uh, my attention down to the base of the uh, mountain down there. Mm -hmm. And these trees are growing up. Some of them are growing up beside, around, and behind mm -hmm. the rocks. One of them came right up through the rock. Mm -hmm. Split the rock. Mm -hmm. The seed is the most powerful thing in the world. Because Jesus said in the book of Luke chapter 8, the word of God is a seed. Yeah. That's the most powerful thing you can have. Mm -hmm. It split the rock. And I began to see all these other trees coming up through rocks on the mountain. Mm -hmm. He said to me, you planted in some hard ground. It's going to take time to grow. Wow. I was a member of the Woodburn wow. Assembly of God Church at that time. Mm -hmm. Well, about a year and a half ago, I walked over, talked to the pastors. They had Joseph's storehouse. In my, first of all, we had started the, uh, uh, the Joseph's storehouse giving food to the poor. But they had grown over the years, and they, and they moved to Liberty. All those years, and it was there. And they had it over there, you know, they running the store, just stars, running the food page and everything. And one day I walked in with a check for ten thousand dollars for them. Mm. Wow. From the company. Wow. Mm. It took over twenty years wow. for that fruit to come up. Mm -hmm. But I kept obeying God. Yes, I kept yes. obeying God. Mm. Kept doing the work he wanted me to My do. God. You see, I don't know how many people know there ain't no clocks in heaven. Mm. Mm. It's just forever. Amen. Mm. My God. Mm. But see, he knew my understanding, understood time. He said it's going to take time to grow. In his mind, it was already done. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. They bought brand new coats. They bought pampers. They did, a, and then they had a few thousand dollars left over to put in store. Wow. Oh my God. My God. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Lord. You see, that's what I'm, and a lot of needy yeah, people got yeah, their needs met. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, you're going to, when I, y'all going to get a hold of this stuff. You're going to get a hold of this stuff. You're going to keep reading. You're going to keep obeying. And you know what? You can start in the simple things. But you got to understand reading and feeding the word is something you always have to do. And you have to get into a place where you understand it's going to, and why you wait till you see the first couple manifestations. Then you get involved in a whole lot of other stuff begin to come. 
Mm -hmm. A whole lot of other, and man, I mean, you are seed planting, excuse me, you become a, 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 a obeying commandment yeah. person. It's not just what the Bible said, the commands, but he speaks to your heart. Those are commandments too, saints. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. There's not a prayer you ever prayed that won't start to be answered. Some people haven't gotten to answer to prayer because they haven't continued. They didn't continue to let the life flow, force yeah. flow through them, through the vine, to the branches, till they get their fruit got matured. And you know what happened? Yeah. Men came up, they got rotted, they, 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 got, they got dry, they picked up and picked up, mm -hmm. threw them in the fire. Yeah. They ain't never going to see a prayer answer. Yeah. 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 Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't shout me down when I'm preaching good. <laughs> okay? But that's how you get it. Okay? My God. Okay. Oh, thank you, Lord. Let's let's go back over here. I'm going to show you this now. In the um, John 14, and look at um, verse 12. Actually, no, no. Let's, let's go back. Let's go to 10. 14, 10. It says, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me, he does the work. What does it say? The Father in me, he does the work. But he said, I have to obey my Father's commandments. And the Father in me does. You do the work, and Jesus in you, you do the commandments, Jesus in you does the work. That's how it works. The system hasn't changed, saints. It has not changed. He, you're going to operate in the earth the same way Jesus operated in the earth. Okay? Look at what he said here. Look at what he says here. He does what, believe me that I am the Father, the Father in me, else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes on me, the works that I do, Shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Why? Amen. Because it's in him doing it in you. That's why you're going to do the works he did. In other words, because I ain't changing. You got to keep the commandments, saints. You got to feed them in there. You got to and begin to do it. And know that it's not just because it's not happening now. It's happening. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. He says, verse 13, And whatsoever you ask, in my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. He says, and whatsoever you ask, I will do. I looked up, based on the teaching I heard, I looked up that word ask. You know what that word ask in the Greek means? That word ask in the Greek means that you have every right to ask and you can ask it with authority. Yeah. Lord, you said in your word, that's and so. And he says, I'm in you, and I'm going to do the work. Amen. Doesn't it agree with the book of Hebrews? Let us come boldly yes, sir. to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. He didn't say come arrogantly and, 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 and nasty. He said, but come boldly, like you have the right to ask. Yes, 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 sir. Hallelujah. I never forget that it happened to me one time. I'm walking down the street, I'm hitchhiking. I was in a bad financial situation. This is when I came out of that situation when I first got saved, when Jesus Christ appeared to me. And all of a sudden, I've been studying three months, in the Word, three months, day and night, 18 hours a day, sleeping six hours, get back up, take communion, get into the Word, get in the tapes, mm -hmm. filling myself. But I was in a bad financial situation at the time. So I finally got a job in Elmville, in the, in, the, uh, in the Neverly. And I got ready to come back home to go back to Montessori. And I'm hitchhiking. didn't have no car. So I'm hitchhiking out of my house. Lord, give me, help me, Lord, get it right. Oh, help me get it right. So I'm walking a mile. Help me, Lord, get it right. I'm walking two miles. Mm -hmm. And finally I stop and say, Lord, I need a ride. You know? Mm -hmm. I came bolder. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden this car came out. <laughs> Turn around, picked me up, took me all the way to the front door of my house. My God. Oh, my God. And I said, oh. oh, oh, oh. I said, thank you, Lord. What happened? I asked in faith, knowing who I was talking to, knowing who was listening. Mm -hmm. yeah. When the guy got to my house, he said, yeah, well, you have a great day. I said, where you live? He said, I'm a pastor in Ellenville. Oh, oh my, my God. God. My God. Jesus. Wow. That the Father may be glorified oh, yes. yeah. in the Son. Yeah. I know God answered that prayer. Yeah. Okay? He said, but you got to come boldly. He said, that word ask means you know who is supposed yes. and you know you have a right to it. That's right. 
Okay? Oh my God. But saints, you got to know that you're keeping his commandments. The Bible says we ask and receive because we keep his commandments and we do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Look at the 8th chapter of John real quick. And you can see what I'm saying because if you do what Jesus said, baby God, you can't miss. If you do whatever he wants you to do, if you do it like he did it, yeah. And that's the whole thing. He said, I want you to do it like I did it. Yeah. And the Father in me, he does the work. Okay? Yeah. It's Jesus in you. He's going to do the work that the Father can be glorified in the yeah. Son. Yeah. But you got to do what he said. Look at the 8th chapter of John. And look at verse 28. It says, Then said Jesus unto them, When you've lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am he. I like to say, then you know I am. Yeah. Then you know that I am he, and I do nothing of myself. Oh, my God. As my Father has taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me, and he, he that sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. Amen. That's how come he got every cotton picking thing he ever asked for or did. Mm -hmm. When you become so indwelt by the words of Jesus... He said, you're going to see some glorified fruit. Mm -hmm. You're going to see some manifestations of stuff. Not yeah. just because you did it once or twice, but you did it so much it got down in your spirit to it became who you are. And you see Jesus, he says, I'm going to purge it. You're going to see much fruit. You're going to see much manifestation of everything. Come on now. Come on now. Late, I just wanted, I just wanted to tell you what the Bible said. Yes. Okay, yes. I hope y'all got what you came for. Yes. You want to come out of that rough spot? My God. You want to live in a place of freedom and blessing yes. and peace? Yes. You jump on this thing. Yes. I'm gonna see whatever I can to do to get this broadcast loaded tonight so it'll be on for you guys first thing in the morning. Yes. I want you to listen to it all week long because it's life flowing through the fire. It's life coming in your spirit because Jesus wants to be glorified in you and he, the Father's glorified in him. This is your opportunity to begin to grow into what Jesus designed for your purpose in the earth. You were designed to be here. You ain't here by accident. You're not here because, oh, you didn't have, you just thought you found this church. No. No, no. Somebody saw whatever. Somebody just wrote something in the Bible and they didn't like they were, said it was uh, and back and when. And they changed this nature. I said, excuse me. Whoa, 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 <laughs> ah! <laughs> Do you believe God built the universe? Yeah, he did. He put this in there, right? And this earth been traveling around the sun all this time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they never made a mistake, right? So you're telling me he did all that. He, wrote, he, he couldn't write one book that nobody could change. <laughs> Come on, that's right. Come on. Man, I mean, I'm scared of you. <laughs> Scurs. Scurs. <laughs> Thanks for correcting my English. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Come on, Jay. <laughs> and he said, oh, oh, okay, okay. Man, you do what it said, you get the results. Yes. Yes. You know what we're talking about today, Saints? Part is you wrapped around and all of a sudden it began to grow. He's the vine and you're the branches. Oh, and man. the fruits are going to come out. Hallelujah. And you're going to be holy from the root to the fruit. Okay? Hallelujah. That's what I'm saying. Hallelujah. You decided to come here, you're going to get it, okay? Yeah. All right. Because you're supposed to be here. Yeah. You could ground. You yes. could ground. Yes. You're going to the devil. Yes. Yes. You could ground. That's why you're here now. Yes. And you're going to see. Yeah. You're going to see. Good ground. You're going to see. Good ground. 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 Good